What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Karihita. This film is directed by Ulysses Pora and Savina Schneiser. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find us coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch including this one. So, Karahita is a new Dominican Republic film that premiered at the Miami Film Festival. It's about a young girl named Sarah who is a socialite, it has a father that's very wealthy. Uh, she has basically befriended this young, this older woman named Yara, who is a maid. She's been pretty much was in Sarah's life for most of her life, and they developed a mother-daughter relationship. But in the situational thing that this movie has to have, one night during an extravagant party in Argentina, uh, basically, Sarah is the non-drunk one, but she ends up checking her phone, and she ends up hitting something. Now, with that said and done, she thinks it's a bunch of goats, or, you know, anything of that nature. And it comes to find out the next day, or a few days later, that the daughter of Yara, who has always felt a little lesser than Sarah, who's always been more of a daughter to Yara, uh, has gone missing. And she's found dead, and she, of course she was in a hit-and-run accident, unfortunately, that was caused by Sarah. So this was another film, like I said, that I saw at the Miami Film Festival. It's a film that I didn't see the trailer for or knew nothing about. So the synopsis I read on paper seemed kind of interesting, to be fairly honest. You know, the idea of, you know, classism and stuff like that. The idea of, like, different uh, economical levels and how they become friends. And how they look beyond the boundaries of that. And how something tragic can kind of pull them together. I didn't know what I was really getting myself into, to be fairly honest. I thought this was going to be more of a, an in-depth character study of two individuals as friends. And so after watching this movie, after taking it all in, kind of realizing what I was watching, I will first say I can take a depressing movie. I can handle it. I can watch it. Usually I know what I'm getting myself into when I go into watch a movie. When I read the synopsis of this and I actually watched the movie, I knew that there was going to be some hard-hitting moments in the movie from some sad moments, but I didn't know it was going to be almost unforgivable what some of these characters do in this movie and some how they act and how they respond to the whole situation of the car accident and the hit and run. And it became so depressing and dour and just uncomfortable that I almost don't know if I enjoyed this movie, to be fairly honest. I thought, you know, Magnolia Nunez, who plays Yara, is absolutely incredible in this movie. But just some of the things that are being presented and some of the things that are being put on screen, it's a very beautiful movie. It has very gorgeous landscapes. But just the concepts and ideas are just something that you literally have to either take a shower or you have to like watch something happy and glorious and fun and entertaining just to wash away just how depressing this movie can make you feel. And the other issue is, is the movie's actually pretty good for what it's worth. It's actually a pretty uh, decently made film by the directors. It's just so dour and depressing. It's like, oh my God, I guess I can go watch Angel's Ashes again. That's a, you know, a deep cut for a lot of people if you don't know but Angel's Ashes is one of the most depressing movies I've ever watched and this movie's right there with it. Like I said, if it weren't for the performances, I don't know if I'd be able to get through the day without crying through the most of the day. That's just how hard hitting this movie is. And there's a lot of symbolisms with the goats in this movie, you know, the way they have this aura about them. If you've ever seen the, the Vavitch, you know very much about how goats are very evil in nature and disgusting and mean and it's what it feels like in this movie. It feels like the goats are like, uh, you know, the world kind of spiraling out of control and I think that's another kind of uh, trope, or not trope, but what this movie's going for is how chaotic and messy and unforgiving this world has become in the last few years. And it just, I don't know, maybe I just need something out of this festival, out of this Miami Film Festival that's fun and entertaining and uplifting. And I haven't watched one yet, which is crazy because there's at least one film in this whole, in a film festival that is just, it catches you and makes you, you know, cheered, happy. You know, I've heard like, for instance, like After Yang was that. And of course, you know, Cha Cha Real smooth for what I hear which is going to premiere on Apple TV is like that but as much as I found the films interesting from the Miami Film Festival I haven't found an uplifting film yet which I'm hoping is coming soon but as of right now it's a it's a rough film festival <laughs> to be fairly honest I, I love the films they're presenting but it's just like give, give me a happy-go-lucky film <laughs> a comedy or something which you know is I mean, it is what it is it's a film festival it's these types of films but getting it back on topic this film is well acted it has a lot of dimensional work to it 
It has a lot of, you know, what would you do in the situation type of situations. Uh, but it's just a very dour, de depressing, dark film and really goes to places that may be a little unforgivable for some characters. So overall, definitely if you want to, you know, attempt to watch this movie and check it out, definitely worth a watch. Uh, but no, go, go in knowing that it might not make you happy after watching it. So, but with that said, that is my take on Karahita. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think. Uh, are you willing to watch this movie now that I've told you about it? Let me know in the comments. But otherwise, if you like what you see in this uh, video, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find out what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.